the other dude. Bobby Allen, definitely worse for wear. The two fighters raise his hand. We've seen some interesting judging here so far tonight. I feel like maybe, based on if you're going just on damage, you might have been able to give that second round to Bledsoe. The third round was clearly Bledsoe, and I think the first round was pretty clearly Bobo Young. To be interesting, there's the big knee, to the, one of the big knees to the face of Bobo Young, and that one he really didn't like. That's followed by a right hand and a left, and right here it looks like Bobo Young maybe going out. Another Jumping knee actually elevates the off to his feet. Yeah, that, that one actually dropped him, as we saw in the, the replay there. The butt so late? Butt so late. Yeah, to turn it on enough to, to finish him. We'll see if that was enough to win the fight. Good back and forth by Bobo Young. Just did a good job. The first time we've ever seen anybody able to take Butt so out of his element and make him uncomfortable in the cage. And I think again, what this. This fight shows yeah, that maybe Bledsoe really does need to be a 145 instead of 155. Both times these fighters in a combined <laughs> seven professional fights have gone the distance as professionals. Two warriors embrace Mogollon and Bledsoe. And Mogollon raises the hand of Eric Bledsoe. Excellent show of sportsmanship. Jazz Sekiro makes his way inside the pinnacle cage. Yeah, they were very We've gone respectful. to the judges' scorecards for the official the result. Yeah. I send it up to Jazz Sekiro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of professional action, we go to the judges' scorecards for your winner. Judges Kevin Armstrong, John Lepsevic, and Todd Krishna all score this fight 29 to 28. Your winner by unanimous decision. Change! Yes! Yes! Nice. <laughs> oh, James, you're scared me. God, gosh, I'm screwing the shit out of you. I'm watching the fights. <laughs> that was almost an even bad. Yeah, yeah all about this one. All right, I'm here with Eric Mogion. Eric? James. <laughs> James Mogion, the best nickname in MMA, Sassy Pants. He comes into Pittsburgh. He takes out our former amateur champion, Eric Bledsoe, beating him in the unanimous decision. You came out here and you imposed your will with him against the cage. You used your wrestling and your strength. You looked good in your debut in Pittsburgh, man. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel tired, man. He's, he's strong, all right? There's a reason, no, but coming into this fight, I knew he was gonna be strong. I saw a little bit about him and we were ready for a three, three round fight, much as nobody wants that. You really impressed me and the other brass here at Pinnacle tonight, man. Uh, you're with one of my favorite guys here in MMA, Bobby Emmons. Hopefully we can drink a beer together later and talk about this. What are you going to do for the rest of the night and how are you going to enjoy your Thanksgiving? Man, I got some friends here from Indianapolis. They came all the way. Some of my buddies from Afghanistan that are from around here, they came. I'm going to see some old friends, make some new friends. We're going to have a good Thanksgiving up until Friday morning. Ladies and gentlemen, from Indianapolis, Indiana, James, Sassy Pants, Mogollon. Sassy Pants? What the fuck? Sassy Pants, that's his Facebook name. Oh, is that? Call him that. James Mogollon comes into Pittsburgh from Indiana and gets the win Sassy over here at Butso. Powerful performance by James Mogollon. Yes, I don't like it, but it's a great and we move on to sure the last uh, In pinnacle history, yeah. 